Every season in the Fortnite game, advancements in technology such as weaponry peak player's interest. Shotguns were not very advanced in previous chapters such as 1 and 2, but new features of shotguns are now available. Do you want to know more about Fortnite's shotgun advancements? Then stay with me until the end of the video. Also, if you enjoy Fortnite content, hit that subscribe button so you won't miss any of my new videos. Keep in mind that in the tournament's three-year history, Battle Royale has been perhaps the most beneficial close-range weapon. Players had access to various shotguns since the beginning of the game. Epic Games has started to combine much more than the standard pump variety. Some have come to an end, but no matter how long they were around, every weapon impacted Fortnite. The question is, which guns are the most effective? We've decided to dissect each shotgun to determine the overall winner. Fortnite sees the introduction of yet another shotgun variant in Chapter 1, Season 9. It was the drum shotgun this time which came in common, uncommon, and unusual variations. Given the drum shotgun's limited existence, it seems like a distant memory at this moment. Its close range damage output was one of its most vital attributes. With a high fire rate of 4 and 12 bullets per magazine, the uncommon variant dealt 50 maximum damage. The drum shotgun has a terrible flaw of being worthless at a distance. It was designed for players who liked W keying but lacked adaptability. Now we will discuss the first evolution called the Charge Shotgun. A charge shotgun from Fortnite on a yellow background. The polarizing charge shotgun debuted in Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 3. Epic Games opted to replace the beloved pump shotgun with a successor in an unexpected move. Although the charge shotgun resembles the pump in appearance, it is vastly different. For maximum damage, players must commence a charge sequence. Unfortunately, the charging feature of Fortnite slows down fighting and makes it feel clumsy. The charged shotgun's damage output is one of its redeeming features. The normal version has an unimaginable damage cap of 120. Despite its novel premise, the cost shotgun falls short of the expectations. Shotguns have been updated yet again. The double barrel shotgun in Fortnite was in the standard loot pool for nearly two seasons. Players could get their hands on this terrifyingly potent weapon from Season 5 through Season 7. Only two variants of the double barrel shotgun have ever existed. Legendary and Epic. Now without a headshot multiplier, this shotgun dealt 120 damage at maximum with the legendary variant. Its main selling point was its power, but it didn't offer much because there were only two shots in each clip. Precision was crucial. The double barrel shotgun hasn't been seen in a while, but it's fantastic, so yeah. The next weapon is the Heavy Shotgun, which debuted in Season 3 as another experimental weapon. This weapon resembles the standard pump shotgun in appearance but excels in two areas, yes, two of them. The heavy shotgun fires faster and has a more excellent range than the pump shotgun. The new and advanced version of the heavy shotgun deals 74 damage, while the legendary performance deals 77. Thanks to the headshot multiplier, the heavy shotgun packs a punch, but it won't be enough to take down an opponent with complete protection. Since Season 7, the heavy shotgun has been gathered in the dust in the vault. The pumping shotgun is a staple in Battle Royale, in any other first person or third shooter, this is what you'd expect from a conventional pump shotgun. Unfortunately, Epic Games has not given the pump the same attention as the tactical shotgun. The pump shotgun has been vaulted twice since its release in the first season of Fortnite Battle Royale. Epic replaced the pump shotgun with the recently launched combat shotgun for the first time in Chapter 1, Season 9. It was recently withdrawn to make place for the charge shotgun in Chapter 2, Season 3. Nothing beats striking an opponent with a 200 damage pump in Fortnite. The combat shotgun's range was maybe its most bizarre feature. The combat shotgun can engage with shots up to 100 meters before adjusting. The distance was eventually reduced to 60 meters by Epic Games. Nonetheless, throughout the entire Fortnite World Cup era, it became a fixture. In the Battle Royale's three-year existence, the combat shotgun aims without a doubt the most potent weapon. In Season 10, it went into the feared vault and was never seen again. This is both amazing and puzzling. Which weapons would you pick? It's impossible to determine which weapons you favor if you've never used them before, right? I mean, if we talk about that previous one, I mean, it's a divisive weapon, its effectiveness cannot be denied. 
Perhaps it will reappear in Fortnite Battle Royale in the future, you know? But the weapons we discuss in our video will assist you in deciding which weapons to bring into battle. The weapons available in Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 1 are listed below. We've ranked them from most significant to worst, but we'll go into more depth about why these weapons are grouped in their respective sections. Now we'll go over some Fortnite weapon history. First and foremost, we have one of the Fortnite's most outrageously overpowered weapons. This is the first weapon that puts players in the first person view when aiming down sights outside of snipers. It doesn't matter blossoms and burns at an alarming rate, players over the Gold Ranger prefer the Grey Ranger. It's not just because shotguns are worthless that the SMG secondary meta is powerful in Chapter 3. The Stinger SMG destroys health bars, structures, and anything else in the path of a player's progress. By the time the Stinger is done with you, you might not even notice you're being assaulted. Spider-Man's Web Shooters While not strictly a weapon, it is one of the game's most sought-after items. Effortless rotations, quick getaways, and surprise ambushes are all made possible by the Web Shooters. Without the Web Shooters, you'd be as good as a sitting duck. Sniper Hunter Bolt Action the snipers have returned and they're just as helpful as they've always been. The lesser rarity to snipers, on the other hand, are a disappointment. A fully healed player will survive even headshots from green snipers. Have always been a fun and reliable weapon to use in Fortnite though, they're ideal for close quarters combat and when utilized appropriately can carry a punch. Shotguns are of course always in the inventory for everything and of everybody playing the Battle Royale game. You might be wondering how these shotguns came to be. The pump and the tactical shotguns from Chapter 1 Season 1 begins the shotgun journey in Fortnite. Both of these weapons serve distinct purposes. The pump had a considerably more powerful punch, but it fired slowly. With the tack, players might trade minor damage for a faster rate of fire. Epic Games implemented heavy shotguns before removing the double pump in Fortnite Chapter 1 Season 5. This epic legendary weapon is a semi-automatic shotgun with a higher headshot multiplier but lower damage. Professionals with good aims mainly employed this shotgun. Apart from heavy shotguns, Epic Games also added a rarer shotgun in Chapter 1 Season 3. Following the nerf to the double pump, the double barrel shotgun provided the most welcome relief. At close range, the weapon proved highly effective. Despite the limited amazing magazine, Players could easily wipe down foes with just two accurate bullets. Epic Games also included the epic and legendary pump shotguns for Fortnite Chapter 1 Season 6. If the might of the double barrel wasn't enough, these were enhanced versions of conventional pumps that dealt over 200 headshot damage. In Fortnite, the drum shotgun was introduced in Chapter 1 of Season 9. In comparison to other shotguns, the weapon dealt minor damage. Possessed a tremendous rate of fire, though, and gamers could rain shotgun pellets down on adversaries in seconds. In Fortnite Chapter 2, Epic Games has primarily played with vaulting earlier versions of shotguns. In this chapter, however, two new close-range weapons were introduced. The charged shotgun was the first seen in Chapter 2 of Season 3. The arrival of the lever action shotgun was also seen later in Chapter 2 Season 5. And that's about it. What's your favorite Fortnite weapon? Let me know in the comments below. If you learned something from this video, smash the like button and press the bell icon to stay updated. I'll be back with more. Till then, stay tuned.